Julian Ortega dies. Actor in Netflix's hit Spanish series Elite collapsed on beat Julian Ortega, an actor who starred in Netflix's recently wrapped Spanish hit Elite, has died after reportedly collapsing on a beach. He was 41. Spain's National Union of Actors and Actresses confirmed Ortega's death in an obituary this week. From the Union de Actores y Actrices, we send our most sincere condolences to the actor's family and friends, it read. There are differing accounts of Ortega's death. Initial reporting suggested Ortega had drowned, but later accounts said he collapsed on the shore of Zahora Beach in Barbate on early Sunday evening. All of Press Spain, an English-language publication in Spain, reported that Ortega went into cardiac arrest and that paramedics spent up to 30 minutes attempting to revive him. Ortega appeared in six episodes of Elite in 2018. The show is one of Netflix's most established Spanish originals, and its eighth and final season recently premiered July 26 on the platform. His other credits included Carante, a crime drama that streamed on Amazon Prime Video. Spanish actress Silvia Marceau was among those who paid tribute to Ortega, writing on Instagram that it was hard to comprehend the news, absolute sadness, she said. Revealed. How much Chelsea will pay to sign Sancho permanently from United next summer Manchester United have had an eventful final day in the summer transfer window. The Red Devils recently confirmed the departure of midfielder Scott McTominay to Napoli before announcing the signings of Sako Kone and Manuel Ugarte. The club have now sanctioned Jadon Sancho's loan exit to Chelsea. As part of the deal, the Blues will have an obligation to buy him for around £20 to £25 million. Sancho has had a troublesome United career and the hierarchy have managed to free up his wages. The attacker has apparently accepted a pay cut to join the Blues. Despite this, the club's faithful will be disappointed with the significant loss for his transfer. The Red Devils were holding out for £40 million for Sancho earlier in the window, but the decision to accept 50% of that value represents poor business before the deadline. The club have managed to get his £13 million annual salary, basic, off their wage bill, but they could have secured a higher transfer fee during the early stage of the window. Irrespective of this, Sancho's exit could be a good thing for United. He was out of favour under manager Eric Ten Hag, failing to make the squad for the first two league games, keeping an unhappy player would have disrupted the squad harmony and brought unwanted attention through the media. The club have finally put an end to the Sancho saga. United's main focus will now be on Sunday's Premier League derby against Liverpool at home. Manuel Ugarte won't make the squad. He was not registered by Friday's midday deadline. Sancho has already given the green light to Chelsea's contract offer having reportedly had his heart set on joining Enzo Maresca's side after Juventus pulled out of the running this morning. According to Fabrizio Romano, the Red Devils, who were initially believed to be holding out for around £40 million to let Sancho go this summer, are now set to accept just £25 million for his services. That fee represents a mammoth loss on the £73 million that Man United paid Borussia Dortmund for Sancho's services in 2021 since when he has only managed 12 goals and 6 assists in 83 games. The 24-year-old's Red Devils career looked to be dead in the water when he publicly disputed Eric Ten Hag's reasons for leaving him out of their squad for a defeat to Arsenal, but the pair unexpectedly let.